in all of time, on all the planets of all the galaxies in space. What civilizations have risen? Look into the night. See what we see. Ask the questions that we ask. Living organisms are created by chemistry. We are huge packages of chemicals. And what are the ideal conditions for chemistry? First, you need energy. You also need a great diversity of chemical elements. And you need liquid, such as water. Now, where do you find such Goldilocks conditions? The search for life beyond Earth begins with understanding life on our home planet. And that story, the story of life on Earth, may have begun in our oceans. Deep beneath those oceans at cracks in the Earth's crust, fantastic chemistry began to happen, and atoms combined in all sorts of exotic combinations. The exact recipe is still a mystery, but the ingredients for life are simple. Energy, organic molecules, and liquid water. Somewhere in the seas of early Earth, chemistry became biology. Very, very quickly, as soon as the Earth cooled off after its formation, we know that life began here. Because it happened quickly here on Earth, we think it's going to happen quickly on other planets as well. The story of Earth gives hope that life could be universally common. Where there is water, there is life. And so our best chance is to look for ocean world like Earth. Our search for Earth-like planets has only just begun, and the findings are thrilling. About 25% of stars have rocky planets in their habitable zone, the right orbital distance for liquid water. In our Milk Way galaxy, along more than 50 billion world-like Earth, in the entire universe, there may be as many as 100 quintillion Earth-like planets. Imagine each flash of light represent an Earth-like planet. You would have to watch the star for over a billion years to view them all. each one with a history and unique as Earth. There are more habitable Earth-mass planets in the observable volume of the universe than there are grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. With so many places to find life, it seems only a matter of time until we make a discovery. And we may not have to look far. Far from the warmth of their star, the moons of giant gas planets may be hidden oases for life. Their energy comes not from starlight, but from gravity, the lurching push and pull of the host planet. Saturn's moon Enceladus has it all. A huge subsurface ocean with hydrothermal vents spewing the chemistry of life. In the region of the gas giants lies a mysterious world, shrouded in thick layers of haze. Titan, a moon larger than the planet Mercury, that is orbiting the ringed world Saturn. It is a moon that has captivated the imaginations of scientists for decades. Because below all that thick cloud, vast seas, lakes and rivers have been discovered. This is the only place in the solar system, other than Earth where liquid flows across the surface. In 2026, 
NASA plans to send a drone to Titan, seeking out signs of life in its valleys and craters. They may be up to 100 trillion exomoons in our galaxy alone, 100 times the number of planets. With so many places to find life, it seems only a matter of time until we make a discovery. For years, we looked to Mars as our best place to find life. Traces of methane in the air remain unexplained and could be biological in origin. A discovery of just one bacteria on Mars or any other body of the solar system would indicate that the whole chain of evolutions, cosmic, chemical and biological, is at work everywhere. Despite decades of searching, no sign of life has ever been confirmed. So, where is everybody? Could we really be alone? Maybe primitive life is common, but intelligence is exceedingly rare. Maybe space is just too vast for feasible communication. Or maybe we are the first. Could we the opening chapter of life? We are lucky enough to know the answer. All we have to do is look up.